Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. So today we are going to talk about how to uh, connect a PC and your uh, ESP8266 or ESP32 microcontroller via USB. And in previous episodes uh, we dealt with this very same subject by using Termios and C programming language and by using Py Serial and Python programming language. And today we are going to use Java programming language and J Serial COM package. So go to your Java project uh, properties, go to Java build path and make sure that you have this external jar included, jserial.com. And I have downloaded this external jar from official GitHub repository. All right. And if you are new in this list of tutorials, on the right uh, you have code for our uh, ESP8266 microcontroller. And in essence, what is this? I have a potentiometer connected to my uh, ESP8266 microcontroller, where middle pin of potentiometer is uh, connected to analog pin of microcontroller. In void loop, I am reading values from analog pin, and with this formula, I am turning that value into percentage. And then I am printing that value to my serial monitor. Now, with this application on the right, we should actually receive uh, this value from our microcontroller and we are going to print it to our Java output. So first thing that we are going to do in here, we are going to uh, create object serial port, call it port. I'm going to include this library. All right, it's going to be serial port get com ports and I'm going to uh, use index of zero. So function get com ports actually returns all of connected USB devices. And in this case, I have only one USB device connected, my microcontroller. So for that reason, I could simply use index of zero. But if you have multiple USB devices, you are going to search through this list and you are going to look for get system port name in order to identify device you want to communicate with. All right, we don't need this anymore. So now I'm going to use port open port. And now we have to uh, be sure that we actually uh, have some data to receive. So I'm going to use a uh, while loop while port bytes available less than one. I'm going to say thread, sorry, thread slip of 50 milliseconds. That's totally fine. And I have to surround this with try catch statement. All right. But I'm going to put this inside too. And I'm just going to remove this line. All right. We are ready to continue. So next step is to create a byte array that is going to store content that we are going to receive from our microcontroller. So I'm going to create byte data array is going to be new byte array with 10 bytes. Well, for this case, uh, 10 bytes are more than necessary because the actual message could contain five to six characters, but that doesn't matter. 10 bytes sounds just fine. Okay, and now I have to uh, create input stream, call it is, and I'm going to get input stream from my port. And I have to include libraries. And we are going to use that input stream to read actual message. So into data from zero to data length. All right. And we have to solve this error. Add exception to existing catch close. That's totally fine. And now I'm going to create a string from this data array. New string from data encoded as UTF-8. Okay. And now, because our message contains 10 bytes, so more than actual content that we want, we are going to split this string by new line in order to get only content that we need. So I'm going to say that message is going to be message substring from zero to message index of 
new line. So in this way, new line is going to be our terminating character. All right, I'm just going to print this out. Print ln content of message, and I'm going to close my port. Close port. All right. So basically, this application it's done. I'm going to uh, open my serial monitor in order to show you what we have. So we are reading values from a potentiometer 36.52 percent. I'm going to turn it right towards bigger numbers. All right, left 51.17. Okay, and I'm going to close our serial monitor and I'm going to execute our Java application now. 51.17, right, turn it left. I'm going to execute it again, 26.17. Turn it right towards bigger numbers, 64.84. All right, so everything is just fine. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.